Hey, and welcome back to another episode of Mailtime, the show where I give feedback on projects from the community. And I don't know if you remember, but there was this guy that completely copied my website, even the photography. Some people thought it was a joke. Some people thought he just didn't have a lot of creativity. And then after a few days, I saw a comment from a guy that looked like him. Hey, you know, I think I gotcha. Hope you all took it not too serious. Soon I will send you my real website. And he even made a video to explain it. Hello, you. YouTube and hello Reno, I am Eric and yes, I copied your website. First of all, as probably some people thought, I did it as a little joke, but there's also a more serious reason. I have to say that you reacted very cool and nice and you also gave me some serious feedback on my copy, which I really appreciate. You really helped me with your tutorials and saved me a lot of time because I don't have to figure out some things by my own. At last point, I just wanted to see what you think about your own design. Are you still happy with all the parts as they are or would you improve something? I'm not happy anymore with my portfolio, I have to say that. It's already been 3-4 years old, so I think I want to improve my portfolio next year. He didn't send me a new email, but I checked his website and now it is different. It's not the same as my website anymore, so I guess I got trolled. Let's hope that that doesn't happen in this episode. By the way, if you also want feedback on your work, make sure to check uh, livingwithpixels.com slash mailtime. The instructions and the rules are here. And now with that out of the way, let's open the first email. The first email is from Ryan. Hey Reno, I love your YouTube channel. He is 23, located in Washington, and he's building a clothing brand already for four years. He has made his own website, so your feedback will be helpful. I think I have a fairly unique design. I try to keep it clean. His questions are, does the site look trustworthy? If not, is there anything that I can do? Is the layout user-friendly, consistent? And he wants to know about the about page. So a lot of questions. Let's just click on it and see what's gonna happen. All right, okay, that's interesting. The, the colors and the shadow. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna start scrolling and see what he has made. And before we're gonna judge this, we have to keep in mind that he is not a web designer, right? He just has his own clothing brand and he made his own website. Oh, look at that. A billboard in a website. Ah, okay. <laughs> That's not something I see very often. It is creative though. A movement fueled by passion. Yeah, okay. I like the floating clothing, I can say. I'm a clothing is pretty cool not super sure about the website though oh also look at that footer ah uh, okay i'm gonna be honest here this can be improved in many ways i think this website is a clear example of somebody who didn't create a design before in a design tool and then just started dragging and dropping things into elementor until it looked like something he was happy with but there are many small design things which you can improve first of all the menu is massive there's no need to have two rows for your menu you because these three buttons can easily be in between here and the logo can be a bit smaller and then secondly this shadow you almost never in a website want to go from black to white in in a short distance because the contrast is super high and i think with your clothing brand it can work if you work with just black or white but just pick one background per section and then just add elements on top of it instead of using these gradients to to go from uh, black to white and also what is this button I'm gonna click on it. I don't know what's gonna happen. Oh, that's my account. Okay, that's not very clear. It is creative though, but I mean, web design shouldn't be too artsy. Oh, I see. It's the it's part of the logo. Okay, well, still, it is the my account page. You want to make sure that people know what they're clicking on because this website needs to sell. If people want to find their account, then how do they know? It's up here, right? And uh, okay, now I'm seeing the pop up for the second time. Also, you know, all, all, all the little small details. For example, in this input fields, the name. The these are center aligned, but then also left aligned. Maybe you don't want to show the pop-up that many times. And now let's talk about this part. It's interesting, you know, because it's it's creative. It's a billboard in a, in a website, but I mean, billboards are for offline marketing, right? And this in a website it almost always translates to a slider in the in the header. So here you have this big image. Why not make this slider a bit smaller, make the menu a bit smaller, and then maybe at the bottom already show a few of your first products and then just add these kinds of things in here, right? New collections, uh, discounts, something that's going on. That's what you see in a lot of web shops because it's not just a simple business website. It's, it's a web shop 
right? And with a web shop, you sometimes have new things, so you want to show that. But right now, the only thing we're seeing are these uh, five people. Also, you have this bar over here. If I didn't read it, I thought it would be a cookie bar. It's not. Check out our new release still. Well, can I click on it? No, not really. I can only dismiss it. There's no way to get to the actual sale. So with this website, um, I'm going to be honest, I would just start over, go back to the drawing board and try to search for inspiration. I mean, this is kind of like a street fashion brand, you know, so go on designer websites like Behance and Dribble and search for street fashion a web shop. Let's just do that together. Yeah, I don't know, something like this that could be cool, you know, you have this super creative font in your logo. This is interesting. Yeah, this could be interesting. I mean, you also have these gray tiles. And then if you make this uh, purple color a little bit more bright, you can also have a balance like this with big bold fonts, combination between black and white. I think something like this could be interesting for the brand, but this is where I would start. And then you don't have to guess, you know? So the design process is so important as you can see. So yeah, this is what I would do. I, I love to do this kind of research, by the way. It's so cool. I actually would like to re redesign that website. <laughs> it's, it's kind of a cool project, you know? I think everyone wants to, you know, have a cool fashion brand in their portfolio at some point. So yeah, I mean, good luck. And uh, let's go to the next email. Hello, my name is Florentin, a 49 years old Romanian living in Vienna. My hobby was web design, but I didn't have the courage to start a business from it. Uh, he, he uses Elementor. Please tell me some opinions about what value it has. And if from your point of view, I should change something to modify it. Let's just click on it. Marinewebdesign.at. All right. It is in German. So I'm going to click on translate, see what happens. Okay. I design science. We live in detail. Um, I don't know if the translation is perfect, but uh, okay. At the top, we already see a hamburger icon, which is not fully visible. Oh, huh? now it's blue. I don't know what's happening. Oh, okay. That's a cool, clean menu. Full screen menu with the Elementor pop-up, I think he made that. Oh, a lot of alignment improvement. What is this? Site. There's no capital here. That's one thing that I see, but he didn't probably use the grid. Let's just measure it and see how wide this website actually is. It's 1,030. That's not a common grid, I think. Or has he used 1,040? No, because this one is bigger. I don't know about this alignment. Let's just continue. Here again, no capital. You should always watch out for using outlines on text. Like there is a trend right now where you can use outline for text. Actually seen that in some website over here. So there are some examples where you can use it, but in this section, I don't know, it just seems a bit off. It's not centered in the middle. So I don't know, it just feels a little bit messy. The whole thing feels messy because also you're, the way you don't use capitals everywhere that just shows that you are a little bit, me oh, that's not in German. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, that's because of the translation. Okay, let's just watch it in German then. <laughs> Maybe it's a lot better in German. Okay, this is this is laid out pretty well. Only this is a little bit weird that this one is lower. Okay, well, the bottom looks better than the upper part. Let's just refresh it one more time. See if it makes a difference. No. Okay, so what I really recommend for you is to start working with a grid. So make sure to watch my grid video where I explain the 12 column grid. I will show you an example here. Like this is in Figma and you can turn on a grid and then you can make sure that all of your items are in the big grid and also aligned to the grid so that it just looks a little bit more structured. So for example, in this section, you can see that these uh, three tiles are not on the grid so you can easily grab them and then align them to the grid. And if you turn it off, it just feels balanced, you know? So that is what I would recommend for you. Start working with the grid and don't try to have too many styles and too many alignments and that will make the website a little bit better. Also watch out for these kind of things like here is blue on blue so you don't see your whole logo now it looks different like here the white version just looks a lot more cleaner and nicer so i would also start to search for inspiration clean web design big fonts and use a grid i think those are small improvements you can make to make this website a little bit better the next email is from yuri from israel he's a designer elemental website branding motion and all digital print sort of design okay he does everything by the way i also have a youtube channel where i upload speed arts okay various speed art he has been doing design for eight years four of them seriously he started creating websites in hebrew but he recently made his first english website in his opinion the site is clean and elegant so i thought why not send it to you i hope you will also like it a client is a lady who is a writer copywriter and translator and the client wanted a very elegant website so he decided to use a black background as the main color but that's a good choice i mean black backgrounds do kind of represent quality and premium a little bit you can also achieve that with white but but black backgrounds uh, 
do feel premium to a lot of people. The most important to have a blog with her works and a page with the books that she's written. All right, so thank you a lot for the compliments. We're gonna click on the website and see what this is all about. Oh, okay. All right, introduction, not that bad. Actually pretty clean, good, not super exciting, but it is good, you know? Let's see if it's aligned a little bit. Let's check the logo. Yeah, it's not so bad. At least he, uh, he has used the grid or he or she, doesn't matter. I like the introduction, you know? It's, it's a writer's website, right? You have to have a personal introduction. So I like this part, you know? And then it starts with an about me again. Okay, that's the first thing that I wanna say. My name is Francesca and here you say that again. Like this is, this is actually, I think it should be on the about page. You have an about page? No, my award. Maybe you can just create an about page, right? Maybe it's better to combine this and this text. Don't make it too long, but if people then wanna read more, they can go to another page. But I think it's okay for a writer's website to start with a personal introduction. Yeah, I think that's fine. You can you can use these two buttons over here. Contact me on my blog are already here. So here you could also be like, hey, read more about me if you want to. My written works. Okay, here's my blog. Um, uh, these are the blog posts. And let's be clear, she is a writer, so she wants people to read. So this is not a website where it's just a random blog with some blog posts. Like, no, she is a writer. So this should be very appealing. And I would say over here, maybe the design that you've used for container or four column grid, maybe the design that you use here to just display four blog posts per row, it's a little bit too small. I mean, she is a writer. So you wanna make that, I think, a little bit bigger, maybe wider, not so much padding for the images. I don't know about that and also these kind of posts if she's a writer make sure there is always a good introduction text over here i know that's the job of the client i mean she's trying to sell her writing skills right so let's see okay here are her books order my books okay oh and that's the footer oh the footer is a bit too much um yeah okay this is interesting how he has laid out this footer so we can see there's a form there's this row and then then there's this row and we also have some information over here so you could also lay this out a little bit more structured so that if feels a little bit more balanced and also why do you need this separation line and the same over here uh, this could be a button by the way but i mean the the footer is not really the place to make a call to action you know it says order my books of course you want people to order the books but there's also on the home already button over here there's probably a book button in the yeah in the menu so the footer should be the place for extra information and the pages and social media and not to introduce new new content that's what i would say but uh, let's just uh go to my books and see what what this is about okay so here we have again four items on one row yeah uh, i don't know i mean this is her work this is the page where you want to sell and maybe even on the home page so this is the same feedback that i have for the home page on the blog section see how the blog page looks like okay here he has used three items on a row like she's a writer so you want to make the reading experience really nice so what i would do here is maybe just do two blog posts per row or maybe even one just have blog posts like this and also with her books like give the books room and already already sell them on the website. So make it bigger on the left and then book one, book two, book three, you know, and maybe you don't then need this. You can just put it on the homepage. Uh, all of the blog posts, of course, that should be a page. By the way, this design doesn't look the same as on your homepage. So make sure to use the same loop template as on your homepage. But I think you can do a better job at making her work uh, more interesting by not just cramping everything into small boxes. The visuals, it's fine. I'm not really sure about these separate lines I think these kind of fonts need a lot of room they are already so creative that you don't need the separation line over here I mean it's not that it's a different color so it's also not really a branding thing it doesn't really fit this this font so I would not use these separation lines you see everywhere also not really sure about the fonts uh, for the titles this is more a font for like big titles but if you want to make people read this is not a very nice font to read long sentences um, and with blog posts, you've, the title is, of course, really important because, you know, people need to click on the title. So I think you should have two fonts for your headings, maybe fonts for the big headings like this, and then also a font that is a little bit easier to read for the actual pieces that you, that you want people to read. All right, I think that's enough for this website. I hope that you uh, got some value from my feedback. And uh, oh, by the way, I forgot something again <laughs> to check the mobile version. Oh, my my god i always forget that let's just put it on the right oh now i see this icon over here what does that do oh accessibility tools huh Wow, I don't see that that often. That's really interesting. Hmm, I think more websites should have this. I don't know, can you... 
How does that work? Light backgrounds? Oh! Negative contrast? Oh! Wow! Wow! That's really cool! Oh! 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 Wait! Can I go back? Resets. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Let's check the mobile version. Let's check the mobile menu. Eh, it's fine. There's not much you can do wrong on a design like this. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. Let's just check the other two websites as well. All right. Yeah, now you can also see that this menu is not really visible. Oh, here the button on the right. Yeah, this this website had some alignment issues. As you can see it just feels cluttered. Oh, whoa, look at that. <laughs> look at these guys going with their computers. All right. And then the first website. Let's just check the mobile responsiveness for that. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's a button behind the button here that's not very good the logo is way too big i think you should check the the mobile the, the header template yeah i think i've seen enough let's just go to one more email hey reno here are the answers to your instructions this is a website that i've been developing for the past year as we work with a lot of tech companies it needed to have a techy design but still feels like a full service production company uh, okay my business partner designed the website in photoshop and i built an elementor with the help of a bunch of plugins okay in terms of feedback copy and messaging needs to be clear do you know exactly what we do when you visit the page interesting because i still don't know by this email are you enticed to keep scrolling it's a good question you know if you worked in marketing would you want a video basically oh so he maybe sells videos okay so let's say that i don't know what this website is that's how i'm gonna take a look at this let's just click on it DeFi studio supercharge your brand with content that gets results okay content he sells content we still don't know what kind of content oh i see videos in the background now video background always really cool i like the colors it's simple click this one scroll oh wait, i want to scroll myself oh i love the gradients in the text that's really cool yeah this is not that bad maybe the line height is a little bit too narrow i like the icons animating there's a video always good specialized in video aerial cgi this is good i like the design big fonts the, the balance between white and black like Compare that to the first website, that uh, fashion website, this one. This one has, oh, also that's really cool. The hovers, wow, I like that. It's a discovery. But th this website has the good balance between uh, black and white. I like it. Nice interactions, the logos animate. They've even worked for Disney, wow, that's impressive. I love the gradients in the tech. Oh, oh, yeah, that's a 3D effect. Oh, that's pretty cool. What is this? Oh, also video. It's always good to have some discovery in your website, right? If everything is obvious, it's boring. But here here, you can use your mouse and things start happening. It's not so obvious what's what's going to happen. I like that because that's what an agency website is about. As a potential client, you want to discover what this agency is doing. This is very different from the uh, writer's website. And what I see a lot online with people that give design tips, but they're like, hey, this trend, you should use this trend. This is really cool. Yeah, well, maybe for these kind of website, right? But for a website like this, where it's all about the text it shouldn't be too visual and too much animations and everything because you need to focus on the text right so each website has a different goal so that's a, a little tip don't fall for the trends that just put it in every single website because otherwise all of your website will start to look the same and that's not what you want and the passion for your work will be gone in a few years so that's not really good they do video there's a lot of video on this website see more it's beautiful i have an apple feed Dealing with this website I think they are inspired by the Apple website but it's it's still different I really like it actually yeah I don't really have that much to say oh he said the copy needs to be clear okay let's just let's just start reading content that gets results okay let's just start we are DeFi DeFi is DeFi not decentralized finance not so not sure engage audience define get results oh DeFi boundaries define I see video to be honest I think the copy is less important important than the actual videos that you that you sell because you are a video agency as as what i can see so i think that is what clients are looking for i think this is nice but do clients know what these things are cgi maybe you need to explain that like this text says need something that's out of this world sounds cool <laughs> you know but it's it doesn't explain it you know the same over here defy more than gravity with our flying tech and expert pilots i mean of course this image says enough oh th this text is good we tell your story better by making video that doesn't just look great like that explains how they're making videos you know but again i think the, the 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 work is much more important and i think this website just delivers on what it wants to achieve 
Just go to industries. Oh, it's a one pager. Or is it not? No, it's not a one pager. It's partly a one pager. <laughs> so then it's not technically a, a one pager. Okay, there's also interesting uh, whole form that you can fill out if you want to work with them. Oh, look at that. Yeah, I don't know. I just like this website. I think it's pretty good. I don't think you need to change a lot on it. The video loads a little bit slow in the beginning. And also, I don't know, this, this background, maybe you can just actually put the videos in the background, right? So that, that we can see it because right now it feels you don't really look at the videos on the side. I think it's better if you just show it or if you really want to show the video, like put this one over here. This, you're going to explain that as well over here. So you, you don't really need that over here. The scroll, you don't also really need that. Show reel, well, that is the actual video. So if you just put the video over here, free quotes, it just goes to the contact page. People can go to the contact page. So you don't need all of, all of this. A subtitle always looks good, but I mean, you want people to see your work. That's really important. So I will put the video over here and then this is more about it's it's always good to first like show this is this is what you do you know and then why it's important and then who you are and it's good to always start with what you do that must be really clear from the start so maybe you maybe you can keep this title that that is the subtitle and then the video over here but i think that a video like this explains it a lot better than just these two texts and the background video so I don't know. I would change that up. And then also I would put this section before the about section because you always first want to start with what you do, right? And this part and these things are what you deliver, you know, right? Your services. And this is about you. This and the testimonials as well, that is more connected to this part, which is the about section. So if you make the story on the homepage a little bit more natural, then it takes less energy to consume the website. And that's really important. I think I've said enough on this website. Website. It was interesting to see. I, I think the design is 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 good, and uh, yeah, I think I think you guys did, did a great job. Just small improvements, to be honest. Like this is definitely the best website in this version of Mill Time. <laughs> Almost forgot it again. <laughs> okay, this menu, nah, it's okay, it's fine. Maybe you can make it into a full screen one. I think that would fit this website as well. Oh, the logo, this, this is a little bit too small for mobile. The logo's over here. This looks good. Could use a little bit more padding here and there, like top and bottom padding on each section because there's so many visuals. You don't want to make it feel cramped. So use a little bit more space here and there. Like over here, there's more space than over here, even though this is the beginning of the next section. So space it out properly. And then it's a little bit better. Or oh, two, two divider lines over here. You could delete one and then just add padding. But mobile, mobile looks good. It looks fine. Okay, that's it. I hope you enjoyed and learned something in this episode. If you want to get feedback on your work, make sure to check the page. And then hopefully I will see you in the next episode on Mailtime.